Hey, how you doing? How you doing? It's your girl Lauren. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So wait, I gotta show you like how festive I am. Look, look. Ah, 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 I got all my Christmas shorts that we got last year and never took family pictures in them. So I'm wearing them now today in a video. Even though you really can't see them, all you can see is my top, but hey, hey, hey. So today, I'm sorry, I'm sitting on my bed and it squeaks, so. Today, I'm going to talk to you about, well, mm, I feel like a counselor or something. Today, I'm going to talk to you. Anyway, I'm going to break down what it feels like being a college D2 athlete. Um, This was actually a requested video from Nini. Thank you so much. I was thinking about doing this video, but I had no idea what I was going to explain. So, yeah, I got my freshman year handbook schedule everything is in this book it's so thin <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna just break it down and explain to you like what it felt like really and then i think i'm gonna make this a two-part series on what hat on what it feels like to be a college d2 athlete and also what happened to my sports so yeah stay tuned for that one but anyway being a college d2 athlete is so much fun no like lies no anything yes the workouts the practices can be deadly sometimes but once you're on a team that really feels like a family because we were extremely extremely big on family and taking care of each other it makes it easy freshman year was probably the most difficult it was it was hard coach told us when she came to my match my senior year i was forced to play doubles as you know tennis is two singles and doubles i honestly wanted to play singles but at the time i rotated my knee i tore a ligament it was just a whole ordeal and i had to sit out for like a good a good little minute before we went to conference and the doctor said I was allowed to play in conference, but I had to play doubles so I wouldn't be running around the full court. I was okay with that. Did I want to do it? No, not really because I had like recruits come to see me. So I wanted to like be at my full best, even though I was running around in a full leg brace playing tennis. So yeah, either way I was SOL and we made it extremely far. I was proud of us. So yeah, she came, she saw me, her and grandma came and they were like, they wanted me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to come. I've never heard of federal state before talking to coach. Did I think about federal state? No, not at all. I knew of Fayetteville because my cousin's in the military. So we went down there to visit him. And that was like the only reason I really thought of Fayetteville. So I took a tour of campus twice and i went down another time to like work out with the team I, like they broke down like what they did this and the third yeah so at the time that they were playing and the time we got there workouts has changed they did the same workouts but they did not do it constantly like we did so it's a thing that you have to run the mile under I think eight minutes is either eight minutes or eight minutes and 30 seconds I was always close I didn't freshman year no I wasn't close at all my first mile time was like 12 and some change I want to say yeah freshman year my mile time the first time I ran it was like 12 and like 43 seconds I think yeah I was I was I was I was I was a little slow I was slow no cap but when I got there freshman year, I was overweight. I say myself, like, yes. Um, I went in freshman year. Do I wanna say it? Do I wanna say it? I'ma say it, I'ma say it. I went in freshman year 200 pounds. Coach all summer, I like the whole high school year, I was always the biggest girl. 
on the team. Did I care? No. Did I have power? Yes. So I really didn't care. We never really ran like the mile or anything. Yes, we did run, but it wasn't over the top or anything. So we did the mile. We did core. Core exercises, I love to death. I don't know why, but the core, the leg works, the all of that I loved. The only thing I didn't like were the planks. That was my only, ugh, I hated the plank. But other than that, you had me the jump rope and everything. So we did, that was our workout schedule technically. Now the girls that were there the year before, they did do all of that, but they didn't do it as consistently as us. So on workout days, we would have technically three. Well, we had workout days every day. I had to pull up my old schedule. Okay. So conditioning, weight room, practice. Those were the three things we covered. So conditioning, weight room were obviously in the morning at six. So around like 7.30ish, depending on like which one we did weight room was with the weight coach in the gym i used to love those days like the whole lifting weights and stuff i loved then conditioning was with coach and that would be in the gym on the top level our gym has two levels and it's the bottom, the basketball courts, the bleachers, and then it's the track, and then another set of bleachers. So we will always work out on the second level in the mornings. And we have this thing where we will have the buddy system. Does it have it up here? Yes. Okay, so we had the buddy system. I'm looking at like my old schedule right now, so don't mind me. Our buddy system was Britt and Jayla. Kayla and Arnisha, Amber and I, and then Zai, Chrissy, and Sid. But then we ended up switching it around because Nisha and I were roommates. Chrissy and Kayla were roommates and we lived in a quad together. So like we would always like pay attention to like each other. So whenever I would get up for workouts or conditioning, Nisha would get up. Like she never set her alarm or anything. She would just know like if I got up, it's time to go. I was always the good girl that always had to be there exactly 15 minutes early, get my stretch in, get everything in. Um, yeah, that was for conditioning. Now, weight room, I would be pushing time, but not really. I'll be pushing it by like five minutes or something. Weight room was a lot. It wasn't necessarily a lot. It just depends on the days we went. We have three gyms on camp. We have a public one, the all girls one, and then a co-ed. Football, softball, us, basketball, and track. Technically all had conditioning and weight room at the same time. And we took shifts on days about which teams would go in weight room while the other team was on the field. So it was us in freshman year, it was us in softball. Sophomore year, it was us in basketball. Freshman year, it was a bunch of girls. Like it was the entire softball team, the entire tennis team. And we, softball didn't have to sign any paperwork. We had to sign paperwork about when we clocked in, when we got there, what we did that day, stuff like that. And our coach would review it and make sure like we were doing what we need to do. And there were a couple of times that we, no, freshman year we really didn't get in trouble for weight room and stuff. But sophomore year we did. I'm not even going to talk about what exactly happened, but it was, it was a lot. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to talk about what happened, but yeah. So workouts, conditioning were like your standard conditioning stuff you get at every school, basically. Practices. We had, we technically had two. We had our team practices and then we had individual practices with one of the coaches or assistant coaches. 
depending on our class schedule. Now, freshman year, I didn't have any time changes or anything from practice to classes, but sophomore year, I did have to leave practice early because I did take night classes because that's the only time they could fit in my schedule. So I would have to leave practice around like 6.50 to make it to class by seven and then go to class from like seven to nine. So it really wasn't bad. Like majority of the time I was upset. Like I've really set up my schedule like this because we would have matches against each other to get our positions. We were working on skills. Like I really enjoyed practice and practicing with them was hilarious. Like something always happened at practice i don't know what it was but we always did something and we just encouraged each other at practice because uh, some of them days was a little hard and trust me nisha and i had a ritual that once we get out of class we would try to take a nap or do something before practice and if we actually accomplished taking a nap before practice it was so just uh, that walk to the courts used to be so miserable if we took a nap or we chilled or did something. If I was productive for that, what, hour or two hours before practice, I would be straight. But if I just did nothing, it was just awful. Now, freshman year, I got sick, like extremely sick they said it was a stomach virus i have no idea what it actually was but i was like on drugs everything and it was right before my birthday and i was so pressed to get back to campus i got sick while i was at home i was like all right i feel good let's go back to campus got back to campus went to workouts got sick that whole day i ended up going to the on-campus clinic they were like, we're going to take you to emergency room. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. You are tripping. So I called coach. It was right before practice. And I said that they wanted me to go to the hospital. I'm not going. So can you just take me to FASMED or something? Went there. They told me what I had. I don't even remember what was wrong. I was dehydrated. I hadn't eaten like that whole two days I was back on camp. They were like you need to take your medicine this and the third you gotta get better so i was like all right bet so i ended up calling my parents they came scooped me up and i ended up coming home for like another week and a half almost two weeks sophomore year got sick again oh why am i always sick this what did i have this time was it it may have been the same thing i don't know what it was but I was just pale, I was congested, I was everything. And that day, we had practice again. Tag coach, I was like, coach, went to the clinic. They said this, then the third. So I didn't want to let my team down. So I went to practice. There's a cat walking in front of my house. A mangy cat is walking in front of my house. But anyway, I went to practice and... I was just there for encouragement, honestly. Coach Chris had me because he, we were we were sitting beside each other, but at a distance because I had no idea what was happening. I was sweating. I was pale. I was congested. My voice was just ugh. And we had, I think we had a match in like two days. We had a match with a school right down the street from us in two days. So yeah, I had to get well within two days in order to play a match. So I miss the next morning of conditioning. And then we had like a small practice that next day after that, the day of the match. Like we just had like a warm up. I was like, all right, you know what? I'm gonna do, make it do what it does. So yeah, that was that. And that explains practices and strength and conditioning now game days depending on if we were home or away majority of the times so we were away so freshman year we played all of our matches like regular sophomore year our season got cut within a month 
and a half into our season. And at that point we were undefeated, but COVID hit. So it switched up everything. But freshman year matches, we were mostly away. We went to Bowie, Central, all of those. We probably had, I wanna say like three or four matches home, senior day, and then a few other matches. But I don't know why majority of them were away and only a handful were home. Sophomore year, all of our matches were away. Our season ended early. So we had, is it conference? I think we had, I guess it's conference at the beginning. No, it wasn't conference. Sophomore year wasn't conference. Sophomore year was just a regular schedule. Yeah, it was just a regular schedule. But Matt, I loved away matches. Don't know why. I just enjoyed away matches. Just sit in that van, playing music and eating snacks. That's That's all I really did. Or sleep. Coach would always stop and get us, we would get breakfast and then we would get like snacks or power eight for the road and for the match. Get there, we would do our regular warm up, which was running, stretching out everything, doing line to line. And then we would get either four on a court or since we were odd number like two or three on a court and just warm up, we would start at the service box will service line and then work our way back and then we would do it's round robin where we play a point out against each other and then we rotate like the net girl so it'll be two back one back and the net girl and then we just rotate like that and then serves and then we'll be ready for the match there were <laughs> Sometimes during games where we just had beef with the other team, like it was just a given. <sighs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We we had some some fun with some teams, but we learned from our mistakes, and we just kept playing. Conference of freshman year was at Bowie. It was all the teams. They did a whole like ceremony, gave out awards and stuff, and then we had to play. And we had a whole we had off my shoulders gonna have a good day.